talks about some local buyers, millennials, Mia and Leonard. Uh, let's see how they're attacking the real estate market. Right, it's about a two minute video, I think it is. Yeah. yeah. Right now, the property market in Los Angeles is extremely competitive, and some people say it's because a new generation has entered the market, millennials. I'm Chase Beach in Encino, where I heard from one young couple who are looking at this house and others and say they're willing to do whatever it takes to get their foot on the property ladder. They might be young, but Maya Bernstein and Leonard Barahoff are focused on the future. The 26 and 28 year old are newly engaged, but for them, the next step in their relationship isn't a wedding. It's buying a house. I kind of just felt like, I don't know if this like is worth it. And I was like, I would much rather use whatever money you know, we would spend on a wedding um, for a home. May is a tech recruiter and Leonard's an attorney. And before COVID, the couple were renting an apartment downtown, but say the pandemic changed their outlook. Like I was always gonna work from home, um, but then now you were working from home and it just made a lot more sense for us to have like two dedicated, you know, work from home spaces. But in Los Angeles, buying a property often requires sacrifice and lots of saving. The average cost of a house in L.A. County is over $700,000. So during the pandemic, they moved here to Maya's parents' guest house where they could live rent free and started seriously saving. We have a joke like every time she spends some some like little num like gum, like literally, I'll just like I'll just quietly <laughs> say, like, say goodbye by the house. See, like something like that as a joke, because we know how much and how hard we've been saving and saving even on those little things is important, says Richard Green. He's director of USC Lusk Center for Real Estate and monitors the housing market closely. What we could see is house prices have gone up by an insane amount, almost 16% nationally. He says part of the reason why prices are so high is because previous generations are staying in place. And in California, we have a law that encourages that behavior. It's Proposition 13, which basically limits how much property taxes can go up by, on your house so long as you live in the house. The most they can go up in a year is 2%. And what that means is houses that in years past would have freed up uh, aren't getting freed up. So when houses like this one in Encino become available, Maya and Leonard start looking quickly. According to CoreLogic, a property analytics site, people in their late 20s made up 79% of all first-time home buyers last year. Their real estate agent, Kevin Stewart, says the mix of less housing and more people trying to buy is creating a squeeze. I think uh, the market frenzy is definitely due to young millennials buying into the market. Anything in what I would call a first time home buyer's price range is it's selling within a week and a half every time. It means the search for a house can take a long time. I would say in this market, um, and my clients here can tell you, we're probably submitting like 15 to 20 offers before you really get one. But this couple say they're not giving up. For Maya and Leonard, buying a house is more than a purchase. Right, it's the start of their next chapter. But we are gonna keep looking. Yep. A few years, we do also want to start a family. Like one of the things that we look at in a house is like, is it going to be enough space for at least for one plus one until we get to that point? It feels like our life is kind of in like a hiatus. So they'll keep searching and saving part of the next generation working to find a footing in California real estate. All right. Well, there's the traditional way we used to do things and and there's Leonard and Mia. And sure. Others. Sure. You know, I, I think it's a, in many cases, particularly in the inner city, it's an educated uh, generation in the millennials often. Um, but they also understand the financial struggles they face just entering the market with the cost of housing. And um, the, the sacrifice they're making is focusing on on getting a home to bring financial stability, which I think, you know, once you're there and established reduces stress, uh, it makes it much easier to plan other things in your life. If you start having things happening in your life, and there's no right or wrong way. It's an individual choice. But if you start having things happening and having kids and, you know, job changes and it, you know, at what point do you pause and say, wait, we need to buy a house. It's right. so much easier to save when you're younger and sacrifice. It gets harder to save when you get older. Yeah. Uh, well, I think, too, the reality of, and it's, it's great to see people doing this, but, you know, I think there was a time, of course, where you could have the big wedding, and then their parents would help you, you know, get the home and all that. Right. But first things first, let's get the home. Let's have a, a nice wedding, but nothing crazy like before. 
and uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a trip, man. It's a trip. Yeah, I, I didn't get my first home until I was somewhere in my thirties, so they're well ahead of it in my head, you know. Right, right. Yeah, and and there's a there's a lot of things in that story that uh, I love to talk about, and I think we're going to turn this into a couple episodes as well, but. The other component I will point out is that this is another option where parents are helping, right? We're used to hearing maybe there's cash on the table, maybe there's yep. co-borrowing, there's a variety of things. But in this case, parents have a space where the kids could live. And they're, I, you know, what, what an amazing thing to actually empower them to save their own money and for them to do it and make that sacrifice at a young age to, to get in the door. So the parents aren't... I don't know if they're putting up any money, but in this story, it sounds like they're providing a house at no charge. So you can save all your money to go buy your own house. And that's awesome, man. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. So for you millennial buyers out there, you're not alone. Uh, we certainly have some millennial buyer clients uh, that are going through this pain. Uh, you know, we have one, for instance, right, who we were looking for maybe six months or so. She's getting a big bonus at the end of the year. And uh, she's setting it off. Right. That was her way to find more cash. She just had to wait for that cash flow to come in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, great. As we said, we'll talk a little bit more about that probably starting next week. And uh, yeah, good stuff.